Hey everyone, this is Jarvis Gaming. Welcome to 007 Asia Under Fire. Now we're doing mission two. Good work on your successful infiltration of the research facility, Bond. As you know, your liberation of Nightshade did not go undetected. Block's men have been ordered to apprehend you at all costs. I recommend you leave the driving to her and use whatever means at your disposal to fend off enemy attackers. Your destination is Identicon's factory near the dockyards. Agent Nightshade has indicated that the second shipment with the last set of vials can be found there. Penetrate their defenses and recover that case. Once you have recovered the vials, deliver them to R for analysis. He will be waiting for you within the dockyards and will escort Agent Nightshade to safety. Alright, this is where we're going to have our first vehicle stage. Which I find to be pretty damn fun. <laughs> For reference, I'm recording this on November 20th. So, probably not going to see this or the first episode until. Looks like we have company, Zoe. Keep a firm grip on the wheel. I'll hold them off. Watch out for that helicopter! To the middle of December. You don't scare me. All right, let's go. Oh, there it is. I almost didn't see it on screen. It's so small way. You don't say. All right, we're good. They're gone. I mean, I cleared the boat mission from Mega Man Legends. This can't be all that different. Not to mention I have plenty of Star Fox experience out of my belt. I think I can handle this. I mean, you have a mission like this where you're just in the car defending yourself. But there's other times where you actually be driving a car while attacking and achieving your objectives. So this is the simplest of all of them. James, there's a roadblock ahead. Turn left here, Zoe. <laughs> I don't have to do anything. And I'm still kicking ass. Hold on. Do that one up. I'll blow up these guys. I believe that's called a bond move. We get a double seven bonus. Or is that something else? I forget. <laughs> yeah, I'm recording this now while I have the opportunity to because who knows when I will again. Because this PC is giving me some troubles with this power supply. And I'm really not in the market to replace any technical parts. Especially because the screen is cracked on my laptop as well. I like how bulls are flying everywhere and I just don't see anybody, but I also don't get hit. So I guess that's the best of both worlds, I suppose. James, there's a roadblock ahead. Slow down, Zoe. Yeah, so instead of trying to do Super Smash Bros. Ball, I'm just working on this. Because I can do this in short spurts in case I get some voltage issues. Oh, there you are. Sometimes you can never be sure where these bullets are coming from. Or maybe I just don't play enough shooting games to have a good feel for it. Really, the only FPS I'm intimately familiar with is Metroid Prime. And any others I've just played bits and pieces of. Well, that's not like Metroid Prime was my first FPS. 
down on it is forever reserved for checks quest. Even though that was just a reskin of Doom. I mean, I did want to play the Doom that came out a couple years ago, but I just never got around to it. Oh yeah, I remember this room. You have a hard time seeing the other enemies. What did I blow up? Was that a thing on the ceiling, maybe? Yeah, it gets a little dark in here. Ah, that's good on it. Okay, I thought they were gonna try and blow this up on me. Maybe if I put it on, on the harder difficulty, they might actually do that. I know there's another first person shooter where I played quite a bit of on my own, but I can't remember what it was right now. It's not the original Half-Life, though I did have that on the PS2 for a while. Was it Red Steel in the Wii? I'm having a hard time remembering. Whoa, that's a new weapon. I think I should just shoot that. Okay, I thought I had to use one of my gadgets for it. Then take that down. Hurry, James! This whole place is going up. Head to the dock, Zoe. We'll get my car. Thought you'd never ask. Nice of you to join me, 007. Sorry, R. I was... delayed. Let's get on with it, shall we? May I present our new BMW Z8? With a few modifications, of course. Forward-mounted rockets, retractable machine guns, dual side-vent deployed missiles, titanium armor, a rocket booster concealed behind the rear license plate, and, of course, a refrigerated beverage holder. Hmm. Do take care of this machine, 007. You seem to have no appreciation for the painstaking effort that goes into building this type of equipment. She's dead, 007. Bond, it's too late for her. But the assassin has taken the vials. Get after them. Well, she didn't last long. <laughs> but hey, at least a new car is okay. Damn, I do a lot of damage, too. Okay, yeah, that's it for this time. I almost wanted to say that I want to combine the first two into one episode. But no, I won't do that. I'll stick with my plan. One mission per video. This has been Jargus Gaming. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you for Mission 3. Till then everybody, take care.